for decades and really centuries, the use of genetic categories in relationship to race has been used to create and perpetuate unjust social relations. The myth that race is biological in the sense that the human species can be divided into identifiable races is widespread throughout U.S. culture. When I speak with um, people of college and sometimes in graduate school and professional schools and I ask them about the eugenics movement, um, oftentimes they're not aware of how much that movement was uh, originated in the United States. Having this deeper context to understand this long history of science being used or misused and abused to justify the oppression of other groups um, is important to understand how what many people consider to be good intentions can often have bad outcomes for certain populations and certain groups. We're witnessing in the United States today the emergence of a new racial politics that relies on redefining race, which is a political system, as a genetic category, a biological category that's written in our genes. For the most part, people believe in race as if it's gravity. Race is a real thing, it's natural. Differences we see in racial groups must therefore have a reason and the reason is internal to that group. It therefore has nothing to do with the actions of a society that differentially oppresses individuals based upon their racial ethnic heritage. The problem with this idea is that it lends credibility uh, to the notion that all of our social problems are based upon human biology and human physiology as opposed to the fact that certain groups fare worse than others simply because they are treated worse. Virtually the entire edifice of biomedical research and treatment in the United States is tainted by the racial ideology of this country. One of the most prominent examples has to do with a drug called Bidil. It had a label that said this drug is approved for use in African Americans only. Uh, the unintended message, I think, that the FDA sends by race-specific drug approval is this idea that, well, if you test a drug in white people, it's good enough for everybody because, well, white people, they're the same thing as human beings. But if you test a drug in black people, well, it's only good for black people because black people are somehow not as fully representative of humanity as white people are. And that is very dangerous. The entire public has to be educated about the real meaning of race as a political system of governance and not a biological category. I think the myth that race is biological in the sense that the human species can be divided into identifiable races is widespread throughout U.S. culture.